Okay, so this is gonna sound crazy to a lot of people, but if you're watching this video and you know of these things and you've had an experience, please comment down below and share it with the people because, you know, we need to know these things. Okay, so I'm gonna start with when, you know, I was still living in sin. So I believed in God, you know, but I was, you know, living my life the way I wanted to live my life. And see, my idea believe in angels and demons and see in my head i thought that it was rare for an angel or a demon to show up i thought that like if an angel came down from heaven he would come down save the day and then he go right back to heaven right okay so some years go by i'm still living in my sin and now my knowledge increases on like the spiritual realm okay because i was working with this guy and he he i don't know what he had against god i don't know what happened to this man i'm still praying for him but if you brought up god he would try to debate you and try to prove how god wasn't real okay so one day we got into it and he was like can you see my god i mean can you can you see your god because i can see my god and my God is a lady, she's green, and she is like the goddess of the universe. You know, and that caught my attention. I'm like, hold on, he is he is seeing a God? Okay, he's seeing a demon, that's what he's seeing. So I'm asking him questions, like, how do you see this God? Do you pray to it? Like, what's, like how are you seeing this green goddess lady? So he tells me about this stuff called ayahuasca, so... I've always been a curious cat, so I go home, go on YouTube, look up ayahuasca, and then I find out what it is, and it's like a root plant mixed together, and it has a molecule in it called DMT that enables you to, like, see into the spirit realm, okay, they call it the spirit molecule, okay, but you're not you don't use it recreationally and you're supposed to do it like at a ceremony with a shaman and they're supposed to guide you and you're like tripping for like eight to twelve hours but it's like a very spiritual thing you know people are trying to get enlightened and trying to trying to find healing okay but now i go down this rabbit hole and i find out about stuff like lucid dreaming um astral projection crystals like yoga all all this stuff and then i find out that all these things are under the umbrella of new age okay and there's nothing new under the sun okay but i'm you know i wasn't i didn't have a relationship with the lord but i knew all this stuff i knew all this stuff was evil okay but i was so intrigued by it so i kept watching it and so, so now I'm starting to watch, uh, like, videos on lucid dreaming, right? So, lucid dreaming, you can control your dreams. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, now, and then, I found out about the term spiritual realm. So, now I'm aware that angels, they don't just come and go. Like, angels and demons are around us at all times in the spiritual realm, and we just can't see it okay so i'm watching stuff about lucid dreaming right so you can control your dreams or whatever right and my husband's like okay you need to stop watching it okay you found out about it now you need to stop watching it and i should have listened okay because even by me watching this stuff like i didn't want to indulge but just by me watching this stuff and because i was living in sin i opened up the doorway I opened up the doorway, so I keep watching these videos, and then I wind up having a lucid dream, okay, so I'm dreaming, and this guy is chasing me, and then I become aware of the fact that I am dreaming, so I'm in this dream, and now I'm like, oh my god, I know that I'm dreaming, I know that I'm dreaming, okay, and there were like tips and tricks, I mean tips and tricks, for you to know that you're dreaming because the people that do this you know some of them do it so much 
to where they can't tell reality from dreaming anymore. So they have to do these little tricks to, you know, find out if they're dreaming or not. So one of them was if there's like a light switch in the room, you flip it on. If it doesn't work, then you're dreaming, right? So I'm aware that I'm dreaming. And then I look at the wall and this was not there. But when I look, now it's there and it's a light switch on the wall. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm not touching that light switch. I don't know what's going on, but whatever is here is trying to get me to interact in this dream. And I am not doing that, you know. But I end up waking up. And I didn't know why I knew that this like this was not a good thing to do to be able to control your dreams, but I just knew like this this isn't good. Like this is not a good thing. Okay. So you would think I'd stop watching these videos, but I kept on watching. And my husband's like, You better stop watching these videos. You know, curiosity killed the cat. Okay. So one day I was in my room, right? And it felt like I don't know why I'm thinking too, but it, it felt like there was two evil spirits just staring at me, you know, and I didn't want to accept that, you know, I was like, you know what, <laughs> I'm tripping, I'm tripping, this, this is all in your head, Amanda, okay, so, now that fear starts to grow, and I'm like, no, no, I feel, I feel demons staring at me, so, I get freaked out, I get freaked out, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get out of this room, I gotta get out of this house, like, I gotta go somewhere, so, I don't know where I went, I think I went to the store, right, so, I continue watching these videos, and then my husband ends up having a lucid dream, okay, and he's not even, like, watching these videos, but I feel like, because we're one, you know, it started to affect him. He said, he said this dream freaked him out. He woke up and he was freaking out, you know, he was scared. Like, he, he felt like, he said it felt like the dream lasted like 15 or 20 minutes. And he felt like he was going to be in there forever. Like he was going to be stuck and he could never get out. And he got really scared. He was going up to people in the dream, touching them. But they were moving like robots and they would stop, let him touch them, and then they'd keep walking. And, you know, he, and then he was trying everything. Like, he would lay down, close his eyes, and then hope that when he opened his eyes, he would wake up. And it wasn't working. Then he saw a drill and started drilling his teeth. And I was like, oh my God, why did he do that? And he was like, because, you know, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. Nothing was working. I thought if I hurt myself, I would, like, wake up. But that didn't work, too. But he eventually did wake up in the dream, okay? Then I had another one. And this one lasted longer than the first one. And I started getting freaked out, too. So then I start punching myself in the face. I'm punching my body and I'm like, please wake up. And then I eventually wake up. But then I understood like, okay, now, now I understand why you're trying to hurt yourself. Because, you know, it was scary. Like I did, I felt like I was going to get stuck in there. I didn't know what to do. So I panicked and started hitting myself. Okay, so now I stop watching this stuff. Okay, now I stop watching this stuff. And then like some time goes on and right before i get saved um this christian lady you know there were some people picking on this lady right and the christian lady uh was like you know we got to remember that it's not the person that it's not the person but it's the spirits you know in the unseen world that we're fighting not the person you know, so I took a mental note of that, right? So then I do get saved, and then I see that scripture, right? And before I got saved, I I was always a, like, good reader of people. Like, I watch your eyes, your facial expressions, your um, body language, you know, how you're moving, 
like how you interact with this person versus this person versus me like and then that's how i decided yeah i don't look no i'm not talking right okay so but then after i got saved like it's like i didn't even have to do that it's like i could feel like an energy coming off of people and it was very strong and intense like i could just feel it you know so you know i didn't know that that was called discernment but then eventually i learned that that was called discernment you know and god started you know teaching me about discernment and i started growing in that gift right and now this is this is when it gets crazy okay this is you know stay with me okay but this is when it gets crazy okay so i'm not gonna mention this person's name but this person came to visit me and they got a motel room they were going through it right so the lord put it in my heart to go go to the motel room and talk to this person so i go over there and immediately when i see this but this person was standing outside of the motel room right and was waiting for me to arrive and as soon as i seen their face like my discernment kicked in and red flag went off and something something was off like something did not feel right so you know i took a mental note of that right <sighs> so then i go into the motel room and this person is you know they're agitated they're negative they're irritated they're just they just got a whole aggressive nature to them right and i'm like yo like like you good like like what, what's going on right so more time goes on and now now you know it feels like this person is on autopilot and i'm not in the room with this person it feels like i'm in the room with a demon this is what it's feeling like you know this is what it's feeling like okay so some more time goes okay and this person was indulging in things they should not have been indulging in right okay so they opened up a doorway too okay and now you know some little bit of time went on and now they go into a full blown uh drug induced psychosis and i put that in quotation marks because that's not what it is okay when you're hearing about people in these drug-induced psychosis states, okay, that's not what it is, okay? These people are now, because they opened up that doorway, they can see into the spiritual realm when we was gone, okay? So now, they're in the devil's playground, okay? Okay, so, they're in full tweak mode, okay? They are tearing out the, like, the sockets out the walls, okay they yeah, okay so they went to the door open up the door looking outside the door and then they slam the door barricaded with the fridge they put the fridge in front of the door and they're holding the fridge in front of the door like somebody's trying to get in so then they look at me and they're like oh yeah you're in on this yeah yeah you sent all these people to come get me and i'm like what what are you talking about he's like yeah i see you talking to him outside yeah, I see you talking and plotting. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm gonna need you to calm down. I'm, I'm not talking to nobody. No, look, the blinds are closed. So who are you seeing? Nobody's outside. And they're like, yeah, you're not gonna fool me, right? So they, they go absolutely crazy, okay? And they're pulling out the sockets out, out of the walls, okay? Looking in the sockets, okay? into the holes that they done made into the wall and pulling okay they pulled uh like the wires shot themselves then went over to the air conditioner and try to pull that cord okay they already shot themselves on that little wire okay now they're trying to pull that whole ac cord that thing was thick okay they straight destroyed that room. There was food everywhere, clothes everywhere. The fridge was all tore up. They tore off the door frames. You know, they was making holes in the walls. They tore down the blinds. 
they were trying to break the glass, you know, punch the glass, but it was made out of like place glass. They couldn't break it. So then they're telling me like, yeah, there's uh, there's people inside of the walls. So that's why they were trying to get inside the walls. Okay. So now I'm like, okay, Lord, you told me to come here and I don't know what to do. So, you know, there was a moment where this person starts walking like, like this, right? And then I hear the Holy Spirit say, put your hand on this person and plead the blood of Jesus. And then I heard the Holy Spirit say, now, okay? So I just did it. I didn't think, I didn't feel, I just did it. And before I even got to Jesus, this person flopped to the ground and started convulsing. The first thing I thought about was when Jesus rebuked the spirit out of the boy and it dro the spirit dropped the boy on the ground and threw him into a convulsion. And I was like, oh my God, this person, this person is possessed. This person has a demon in them, right? So I'm just pleading the blood of Jesus and they're convulsing on the floor like a fish out of water, okay? Okay, so then after they stop convulsing you know i'm still pleading the blood of jesus i'm saying it's in the scriptures that i that i can i'm saying get out get out you don't belong here you have no power here i plead the blood of jesus you know I, I'm, I'm i keep going and going right and then they um after so after they stop convulsing now now their body is like it looks like they're just in so much agony and pain and they just want me to stop saying Jesus right so then after that then they're looking at me like this like and they're moving their head like a snake and their eyes look like like an emptiness that could go on forever like it was eerie like if I did not have the Holy Spirit, I would have been terrified. But I just kept remembering scriptures like, God, you're not going to let me get harmed, you know, because I know you told me to come here and, you know, there's something that you're teaching me here. You know, I'm here for a reason. I know that I'm not going to get hurt. And then I had to keep replaying that in my head because it, it was pretty scary, right? So then, so then they would come back up, right? It's like the spirit would go away and then they would come back up and now they're like what's going on like confused like what are you doing what's going on then it would happen all over again they start convulsing you know like looking like they're in agony and pain and then giving me like their crazy them crazy eyes okay and then the person would come back up and be like, what's going on? I, I don't know what's going on. And this happened for three hours, okay? For three hours, I was drained, okay? I was tired. So then they got my phone, okay? They got my phone. I'm like, Lord, please help me. And he did because they wound up calling the police on themselves, okay? They were like, you know, I need the police to come over here right now. Listen, I don't took some drugs and people are trying to come kill me. I'm scared, right? And I guess they were like, okay, we can't come for that. Because then he was like, uh, uh, domestic violence. There's been some domestic violence. Can you come now? Right? So I'm just praying, like, please come, police. Please come. Right? So they're still tripping in the room. Okay, so police come, they get taken to the ambulance, the, to the hospital, right? So I go home and I look up exorcisms, okay, because I didn't grow up in the church and and I was trying to figure out, like, why couldn't I get these demons out? I know, Lord, that you led me to go there and then I couldn't even get the demons out. Like, what and what and what and what? I was not prepared for all of that okay i'm trying to find out a little more more about what what went on okay so 
you know, oh, and I always thought that, like, it was rare to become demon possessed. I thought it was like the movies. I mean, I didn't think it was that extreme, but I thought it was similar to that. But the only reason why I knew that this person had a demon in them is because of the gift of discernment. Okay, this is the only reason why, because it wasn't like super obvious. It was not super obvious, okay? So, then, okay, so I'm looking up exorcism, and all I can find is an exorcism by Emily Rose and, you know, movies about exorcism. But then I find out about deliverance, okay? And now I'm like, oh, this is a thing. You know, this is a thing, okay? And, you know what, I think the reason why I couldn't, you know... I mean, I think that the Lord led me there because I truly believe, okay, these demons were lying. They were playing with this person. And I believe that he was either going to kill himself, they were going to trick him to kill himself, or to kill somebody, or hurt somebody. Like, somebody was going to get hurt. And I believe that that's why, and that's why I went there and he wanted to show me you know, that scripture that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and rulers of the unseen world. Okay, I probably messed that scripture all up, but I'm going to put it in the description, okay? But yeah, he had to show me that, okay? And he's been, you know, I've been growing in my discernment, you know, my gift of discernment, okay? You know, so that was something that he had to show me. And I also think that they don't, that they don't, um believe that they need deliverance and i feel like you you know if you were to do deliverance on somebody that they have you know they have to come to the lord and know that they need it but this person thinks that they're saved because you know i thought i was saved when i was living in sin i thought you know but i was god's enemy and i didn't even know it so i think that could be part of the reason too and also um you know it's that's a good gift to have you know in this life you know you know, for business, you know, if you're in a relationship with somebody, you know, just in life, you know, it's good to have discernment. And, you know, I know I always pray for wisdom, insight, knowledge, understanding, okay? And he will give it to you after and you shall receive, okay? Yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you because this is not a game, okay? These demons are out here and they hate the light. They hate us. They hate us because guess what? They can't. They were in heaven. And they can't ever go back, you know, but we have a chance. We have a chance to go back, okay? So just know that you need to be putting on the full armor of God, okay? And if you're out there, you're a believer, a non-believer, and, you know, you've been seeing spirits or having nightmares or sleep paralysis, just know that there is power in the name of jesus use jesus's name please believe me please believe me these demons shudder at his name they will flee they will flee and then you better get you know start growing in your relationship with the lord okay so i just wanted you to know that and you know the people that know what i'm talking about let let the people know and comment down below because i know this probably sound crazy but just believe me that it's real, okay? And we need to be always ready to fight this war, okay? This is not a game, okay? So everyone stay prayed up. I love you. Bless you. Have, have a wonderful night, okay? I love you, family. Goodbye.